going to make the corn and people told me of course not this isn't the corn this is the corn flour um, and what I need to do is collect the pollen from here and drop it in the sort of the grooves between the stem and the leaves and this is actually where the corn will start growing so I'm going to try and use um, one of the tips that someone said which was to collect the pollen on a bit of paper and then you can sort of slide it off the paper into the places that you need to get it so I've got my bit of paper, I'm just going to give these a tap. Um, I very quickly found out that they're awkward to do one-handed, so I'm just going to have to show you the before and the after. Um, so we can see we've got loads of these little bugs, which I think are okay. And then we've also got a lot of this yellow powder, which is the pollen, which I can now um, sort of fold this up here and then slide it into the right place. And then hopefully you can see that there are some yellow bits around this uh, part where the leaf meets the stem. Still not really sure if I'm doing it right, um, if I'm collecting it or collecting enough of it and if I'm putting it in the right place. I chose this one because it's got this little kind of nubbin growing on there. So hopefully that one might turn into a cob of corn. Uh, but let me know if I'm doing it wrong. Um, I might also try to collect it and then put it on with a paintbrush. It just seems a bit more precise. Um, but yeah, let's see how many corns we get out. 